Hello. So a while ago, I did a video which showed an early game build you could put together using the flambage, or the flambage, however you want to pronounce it, and blood flame blade. Now, flambage is one of those weapons that I think is a bit slept on. I don't really see it that often in PvP, but um, I think it's really good. You get great sword damage. It's got bleed on it already, and if you put blood flame blade on top of that, it's uh, really, really strong. Uh, blood flame blade is really good because after you've finished uh, hitting the enemy, the bleed status will continue to uh, continue to proc. Now the difference this time is that I've put Wild Strikes on the Flambe, which is the Ash of War. So Wild Strike, you keep wailing away at the enemy, it gives you hyper armor, so your attack doesn't get interrupted. Uh, so that's really good. Um, and you can see PvE uh, enemies like this guy here, uh, you can just keep, uh, keep hitting him and uh, eventually uh, he goes down. So I'm rune level 30, I'm weapon level 6. For the Flambeige you need 15 strength and 14 dex. And to cast Blood Flame Blade you need uh, 12 faith and 10 arcane. So to do that I've picked up uh, Marika's uh, Scar Seal. And then the other talisman I've got is the Green Turtle uh, talisman which gives me uh, faster stamina regen. And then in my Physic, I've got the Strength Knot tier because I've gone for Heavy Infusion on the Flambeige for the extra two-handed damage. And then I've got the Green Spill Crystal tier which just gives me a bit of extra stamina which means I can keep the Ash of War going for longer. So um, even um, Renala, um, you know, with only like plus six weapons, um, you know, I didn't have, uh, have too many issues. She can be a bit tricky sometimes just the way she uh, keeps jumping around. Now, if you wanted to make this better late game, uh, what you could do is put on the Winged Sword Insignia or Millicent's Prothesis or both, um, which will give you a damage boost for consecutive hits. Um, same if you were to use the Thorny Crack tier. Yeah, you could boost your poise as well uh, with Bull Goat's Talisman. You could use a Balakin's Blessing, stuff like that to make it, make it more powerful. So, uh, yeah, I really like this. I'm um, probably going to do some invasions with it as well and see how I get on. So, uh, yeah, I will catch you soon. And this will just close out with uh, showing the uh, damage that the weapon can do. All right, take care.